All right, guys, here it is. Here's our brand new diesel engine that we're gonna be using and testing on this channel. So look forward to that. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open and take a look at it. Oh, what the heck? This is a freaking Predator 212. I think I got ripped off. I'm gonna have to write a polite but stern letter to Amazon letting them know that this is a travesty. Just kidding. Here's the real unboxing video, enjoy it. I feel really bad for the delivery person that had to drop this on my doorstep. Okay, let's pop the top of the box open and take a look inside. All right, so here it is off the bat. Looks like you got an air filter. That's kind of smushed. It looks like actually, yeah, it's very smushed. That's concerning. Random bag of tools. Put the piece to the side for now. And a lot of foam that's going to make a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the box, get it set down, and then I'll bring you guys back to it. We'll get some closer look at uh, the, the engine. But as you can see, it is a diesel, so it's got the decompression here, injector here, and yeah, let's just get this thing out of the box and take a closer look. I really hope this is just a spare because this thing's kind of mushed. So, oh well. Looks like this is like an exhaust deflector, maybe. Alright guys, so here is our new diesel engine. So you remember the, if you guys recall, we did the original smaller diesel engine. This one's way bigger and I am going to put them next to each other at some point so you guys can see the difference. But this thing is way more, like look at just the exhaust. I mean this thing means business. So I'm pretty sure this one has a pressurized loop system and I think there's a screen in here. So that's a big, big plus for durability and longevity. I mean it's, it's a lot bigger than the other one. So on so this one, it's 418 cc's. It's got a one inch output shaft. No electric start, but it does have provisions for a starter motor, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to try to see if I can't find the starter motor and make this an electric start. You can buy this exact engine with an electric start, but it's about $700 or $800 versus this one's about $400 to $450, depending on where you buy it. So, so it looks really good, actually. It looks really high quality. So this is actually a copy of a Yanmar 10 horsepower, which those have been around forever. So it should be pretty good if it's just a clone of it. Throttle mechanism right here. You can actually see where you can connect a throttle cable. So maybe that'd be cool if we put this on a go-kart or a mini bike, that'd be pretty awesome. Maybe a future uh, idea. Here's the front. This is the gas tank or fuel tank, engine air filter and the exhaust. And yeah, there's no labeling on the front, just a big pull start. And I mean, there's really not much more to say about it. But it's it's big and amazon sells a few different diesels this is one of the big ones there's another one that is also advertised as 409 cc's and it looks just like this and then there's a slightly smaller one than that that looks just like this but it's physically smaller and it's got a little less displacement so anyways this is going to be the new one i have no idea what we're going to do with it yet but maybe we'll make another generator maybe i'll put it on a go-kart i just kind of like messing with the diesel engine so all right now i'm going to put some get oil in it put some diesel in it and then we're going to fire this thing up or attempt to fire it up and no i'm not going to bolt it down on anything we're just going to put it in the grass all right, so for the oil, we're just gonna be using this cheap 1540 just to break it in. Once the engine's broken a little bit and we actually start using it, I'll put some nice stuff. So I don't know how much this thing takes. Also, the engine itself is really nasty. Like there's oil all over this. So I'm gonna wipe this thing down really good. I assume they do that for shipping and it doesn't look like there's any oil in the crankcase. Yeah, it's definitely empty, let's see. So I don't know, I'm just gonna pour a bunch in and hope I don't overfill it, I guess. So right here you can put an electric start so like i was saying i might try to look into that because i don't want to have to be hand cranking this it looks like it's going to be a uh a chore to start and it's diesel isn't that interesting so no spark plugs as you can see from the top just a fuel injector decompression release so that's how you start the engine pretty interesting It's a 186 FA, that's the model. Pretty interesting. It tells you how to start it. All right, now let's put some fuel in it and see if I can get it to fire up. I don't know if I have to prime this thing. I'm gonna assume it's already primed. If you don't know, on a diesel, you have to make sure there's no air in the injection system. So normally you have to crack the line here, 
and pull it a few times until fuel drips out. Okay, it's a 17, so I'm gonna crack this. Now I'm gonna turn the throttle all the way up. I'm gonna push the decompression and I'm gonna pull the engine over a few times until fuel comes out of here. Okay, you saw the drip. So now I'm gonna tighten it back up. That means it's primed. I'm really nervous. All right, guys, I guess I'm not ashamed to admit that this thing is actually extremely hard to start. I don't see how people are able to crank these things over by hand. So that was a fail. It's a little bit better. And if I still can't get it to kick over, I guess I'm going to actually mount it. And I really want to get it running. It's such a beast. I can't believe how big this thing is. The pictures never do it justice. So this would be sweet to put on one of the Coleman mini bikes. What do you guys think? That'd be sweet, right? Getting some smoke, so that's good. definitely backfired through the intake a little bit almost destroyed the pull start it actually did that's not possible hey no way what's up dank I'm so glad I got this thing to start, you guys. And I agree, I'm sure if I bolted it down, it would have been a lot easier. You guys know me, though. I like doing stuff the hard way, and I was very excited. So that is the first run of our big, I'm gonna call it the big block diesel, 418 cc's. I didn't show before. That's what the tag looks like. They also make a 408 or 409 cc one. That's a little bit, it's the same physical size, but I think the board strokes slightly smaller by like a few millimeters. So yeah, just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking at one of these. I would highly suggest you get the electric start. I'm gonna try to find the starter that goes here. I'm just not sure if like a Yanmar starter would fit. So I gotta do some research on that. I don't even know if the flywheel has teeth on it. I guess I need to determine that first. So if any of you guys have put an electric start on this, let me know what starter fits and if I gotta buy a flywheel or not. No immediate plans for the engine. I'd like to put it on a mini bike or a go-kart or make another generator, but we will see. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. So I guess that's going to do. I'm going to wrap this video up. Let me know what y'all want to see me do with this thing. I'd love to hear your comments and your suggestions, and I will catch y'all in the next one. I like it,